welcome back to my channel guys i hope you've been well it's been a week now since my last my first video which is my last video anyways and um i'm grateful for the support thank you guys i've wanted to start a youtube channel since 2013 yeah that long long time now but i just got around to finally um you know getting the courage to do it <sighs> all right just a woosa moment Shannon and I have been going through the terrible tools or in other words I hear somebody call it the terrorist tools and I think that's a very appropriate word very appropriate <laughs> so you know we're going through this time trust me all parents out there on a know say it rough it is rough um, been praying for patience and um i just wanted to talk today to you about you know when we're going through rough times how to know that we're gonna be okay and go out on the other side yeah that's what i wanted to talk about so i the roughest time right now like the first thing that comes to me in my life um 2017 i was pregnant after i got married went back to school found out i was pregnant um, was happy, elated, and if you can do math, you realize that Sky was born in 2019, which means she was conceived in 2018, which this is not Sky, right? This is not um, my terrible tool that I'm dealing with now. And I'm telling you, I woke up one morning, I was about 17 weeks, woke up one morning, it was 2, 3 a.m., went to the bathroom, felt like I wanted to pee, went to the bathroom, and... My water broke I water kept coming and I couldn't stop it and I knew what was gonna happen so I what was happening at least so I started to cry because I knew I was having a miscarriage right and that was one of the roughest times but I remember having to go to the hospital having to you know you're in your second trimester um, this is a whole process no this is no longer um, just like you know a simple passage if I can say it in the in the easiest terms or the simplest terms, it's a whole birth, and um, that was rough for me. But I remember holding on to God and literally praying and saying, "You know, God." The first that came to my mind was, "Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on Thee, because he trusted in Thee." And I said, "You know what, Lord? As hard as it is to say, all things work together for good." You know why this is happening clearly to strengthen me or whatever else and i'm gonna trust you and hold on right and i did that i remember one of the days when i was home and everything was done and i went home um also my family was not there my husband was not there it was just friends two specific friends in particular but it was friends and um, other supportive persons who really um, helped me. My roommate and the liver to Lavozel, you know, um, tower of strength, trust me, through this time. And I remember I'd be in my bed and I'd be crouched over, just, you know, and crying. And I'd literally feel like God is there with me and like He's holding me. And um, one of the songs that got me through was Master the Tempest is Raging. Yeah, that really got me through. Um, it's about when the disciples were in the boat and the boat there was a storm and Jesus was sleeping and they woke him up like, you're not here so where did? You know, and that's how I felt like, seriously, I'm in this storm and where are you? You're asleep? What's happening? But he assured me that he wasn't sleeping and he gave me that peace to go through that patience that I needed. And when I go through a time like that, how I went through a time like that was because I kept looking back at other times. And at this point, I was in my fifth year. Yes, I was in my fifth year in med school, which means that I had gone through four years of trials and tribulations, and he had gotten me through. Um, though I'd say these were smaller, but every year, or after the first year, I had to pay full, when I go in the first year, like I had to pay for the full year. After that, no, like I had to, um, we, we could not afford it so every year I was on the expulsion list for payments 
right? You can't pay your fees, you gotta get kicked out, like that, right? And that's at every university. Anyways, I pray and every single year God would come through. So it's like the next year, even though I was stressed about it, I know God would come through and I'd complete. And here I am on the other side, finished with that. So while I was going through that miscarriage, I remember those financial strains while I was going, while I was in university and um, the money was an issue. I remember when I was at Walmart, there's a specific time that was very, very, that's very prominent in my mind. Um, very clear. I remember one day we were to start school. You know, you're supposed to pay a school fee from way before. No, this was the first day of school, and my mother was like, We don't have the money, but you're going to school. Woman of faith, I must say. And we got we showered. I was in my uniform. I was standing out by um, my bus stop in Greater Portmore. And then, the one before my father came with the money, I don't know where I got it from. And we went to the bank and we paid for it and then we went to school. So it was like a series of events and every obstacle that I went through. And, I, and if you notice, it's high school, then university, then a miscarriage. It's like every time the problems get bigger, but they prepare you for the next one. That's how I felt looking back. So after 2017 um, happened, then came 2018. I told you I got pregnant with Sky in 2018. After the first miscarriage, after the miscarriage, I realized that I had an incompetent cervix, right? Which means that the cervix is not closing to hold the baby, right? So I had to eventually get a circlage, which is a stitch in the cervix to hold everything together, which means I should be on bed rest, but I could not afford to be on bed rest. You know why? It was my last year of medical school and I was not extending this thing for one more year. Mm -mm. Not at all. So I literally went to school the same way. I tried to rest where I possibly could, try to talk to teachers, see how they could, you know, assist me. Some did not care and I had to just go to school and God made everything happen, you know. It was rough, but I, I got through. Then no, baby born. She had ABO incompatibility. So she had to be in hospital for a whole month. Um, complications and other things because it really shouldn't take a month and then and then I was sick too because my whole pelvic floor went so I had to be in the hospital and all of that so we were both in the hospital again no husband no mother no father no um, close close relatives and friends um, just those that I met in Ukraine and it's like because I knew I went through the miscarriage and God brought me through, I was like, I'm gonna go through this time and I'll go through. Listen, I'm not gonna tell you that I didn't call my husband and cry and bawl and my mother and cry out to God. I did, but you know that you're gonna get through. You know that it's not that you're not gonna go through the problem. It's just that you are going to make it out in one piece on the other side and that's what i want to leave the you know leave us with today leave us with the fact that we all have troubles we all have problems but the light is on the, at the end of the tunnel you'll see it um you'll make it through for me and i'm not here to preach to anybody i'm just telling you my experience for me i just trust god and i know he's gonna come through because he has come through at the previous times and that's what I'm gonna say to us. When we're going through problems, remember other times when we went through struggles and trials and we came out, you know, um, as pure gold, we came out fine. You're like looking back and like, hmm, yeah. Um, so some other things that I would like to suggest to us is like a prayer journal or just a journal in general. There is a young lady on YouTube here too. Her name is Zara Marie. She's on Instagram too. That's where I met um, her first. She has a lovely prayer journal. I myself am planning to get it and I'd implore you to get one. I'm going to put the link below um, about that. Second of all, so get the prayer journal. Get a journal. All the troubles and the things that you are going through, write them down. Um, what I do personally, I'll have prayers and I'll write down my prayers and I'll date them right when the date um has come for the prayer to be when the prayer has been answered i write that date down too so that so when another trial comes i can see that god has answered those prayers and that i you know i was going through that at that time and i came out that's one thing i would say surround yourself with family and friends who can assist you 
whether it's in the same place, whether it's over the phone, support system is everything. I spoke about that in my last video, support. And um, your personal relationship with God, you know, praying, reading your Bible, this, so in the time of trouble, you can't go, and then you want to find a verse. It's good when you already have a relationship with him, already talking to him, already searching the word, so that in the time of trouble, the word comes to you. You know, you can ask him, he'll tell you how to go through um, and all of that. And just remember your experiences. Um, yeah, also, your experiences are not necessarily only for you. But <laughs> I have personally, after having a miscarriage and having a surplus, there have literally maybe been three or four months that I, the Lord put me there to kind of coach them through their time yeah and um i realize sometimes we don't go through things for ourselves but for other people so that's what i would like to leave with us today the fact that we'll go through problems but if you can remember something that you just look back remember something that you've already gone through the fact that you've made it out and you're more victorious it will help you that thought will help you to get through this obstacle or the next obstacle all right so have a good day don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. I hope everyone is having a great 2022 so far. January is about to end, guys. That's kind of scary. But yeah, we can make it. We can make it. COVID or not, we'll, we will make it. All right. Have a good one. See you next week this time.